A uh, couple organizational things you might want to keep track of. Uh, you've got a bunch of people, parents and kids, who are going to want to sleep. Keeping all the sleeping gear in one fine pack together makes it easier when you get to your campsite. So loading your car or loading your canoe with a pack that's filled with their sleeping stuff as well as then the equipment and then maybe a fun pack. Those are ways to keep it going. A simple and easy way to keep your stuff dry in the event that it falls out of the canoe or car or you arrive in a rainstorm, you put a garbage bag lining your stuff sack and it makes it a really simple. Garbage bags are awesome and waterproof, they're just not very tough. And this durable nylon stuff sack is very tough but not very dry. So if you put your garbage bag in, the inside of your pack, your little stuff sack, Okay, give it a twist. You don't want to tie a knot in that because when you untie it, you will rip a hole for sure. Okay, so you give it a little twist, hence the name stuff sack, right? You stuff the side in down, and now you've got a completely self contained, waterproof um, sleeping bag. And of course, sleeping in dry sleeping bags is, in, is a pretty key element to having a good weekend away. Okay, now I've got uh, sleeping bags, thermo rests, blue foamy. All the things you need in order to have a dry, comfortable evening in the tent. Okay, clips up, packs it off. All right. Staying hydrated on a camping trip is of vital importance. Uh, hydrated people are happy people, and so you want to make sure there's lots of water and it's easy to access for both parents and kids. So if you're car camping, staying at a local provincial park, and your car is not too far off, um, something like this is a great system. It's got a screw top lid so it doesn't spill all over your car along the way, easy to access, kids can get a hold of it, it can sit on the end of the picnic table, and it's got a little spout. Easy and done. For backcountry paddling though, when you're not beside your car and you don't have the luxuries of a campsite uh, and the facilities that go with it, you have to sort of be a little more creative in your thinking. You can't carry enough water for the trip, so you're going to have to purify your water. Along the way, it's important to start with full water bottles every time you get started. And I know the temptation is sort of to bring along one of these. These are great, not exactly the most environmentally friendly decisions, but they're full of tasty water. Uh, but they don't have lids that are easy to keep track of, okay? Uh, the lids are, are easy to lose, and the ability to sort of clip your bottles together keeps things in one spot. So instead of having two water bottles all over camp, you've easily got, you can have one, two, three, or four water bottles. One for each person is key at the campsite all in place. Okay, so that's really helpful. Uh, and a base camp water. So everyone has their own individual water bottle and then you've got some sort of a collapsible water jug. You can buy them again at any camping store or, or generally most hardware stores and they range in price and size but they're always pretty inexpensive overall. And then you've got something like this which is something that it's a pump, a filter pump that makes any water drinking water. So you might take the, the end of this here with the, the floating nozzle and put that into your water source. Okay, and then the other end of this finds its way into your water, into your drinking jug or your water bottle. And then it's just a simple matter of pumping, kind of a liter a minute is the, is the ratio, so it takes a, a little while. It takes five or ten minutes and you, you pump and you've got yourself a full jug of clean drinking water to make juice with or four full water bottles for four full people, two for, for two people, and, uh, and away you go. So you're covered for the backcountry and you're covered for the campground. When you're planning your family camping adventure, you don't need to bring the entire kitchen with you. In fact, just about everything you need, you can find right in front of us. Okay? These green bins are perfect for dishes at the end, fill it with nice hot sudsy water and you can clean your hands and the kids can even get involved, which I know sounds crazy, but it's totally true. Okay. And these Rubbermaid containers, again, inexpensive and found at any sort of local hardware store, uh, serve to carry your entire kitchen pack. Okay, so I've got some plastic plates, important, not glass. Okay. Cups. Hydration, as I said, is important, so having a little juice jug so that you can fill it with flavored juice crystals and all that kind of stuff to encourage your kids to drink as much as possible is, is always important. In a little stuff sack, again, keeping everything organized is helpful. Instead of a big jumble, keeping it organized. And you've got your little stir spoons and your little knives. Okay, I've got tongs, which are really helpful for picking things up around the campsite uh, with regards to your food when it's hot. Okay. Um, cutlery. You know, a bunch of spoons, a bunch of forks, sharper knife for the lucky guy who can catch a fish. 
All right, and you've got a spatula. It all fits nice and neatly inside our jug. Okay, so here we've got this great little system that fits perfectly well. This will come alongside here and okay, fit inside of our uh, Rubbermaid container. I got an extra cup, or two extra cups. Again, never a bad plan. You don't want to run short. You'd rather have a little extra. Those are the kinds of things you have space for when you pack like this. A few dish towels and cloths. Nice and clean. It's a good thing to have a little clean space because around campsites sometimes clean can be tough to come by. A little Ziploc bag filled with a scrubby, a J cloth, and a little container of soap. No need to buy a huge one. Again, important that it has a screw top lid and not a squeeze bottle lid. Otherwise, you have an explosion of soap, and that's never, never going to work as well as you hope. Okay, so you get this put together, put your lid in there, and then sort of the final piece to this little system, you've got two cutting boards, which are going to be the lid to hold it all in one place. Okay, so when you get to camp, this is what you're carrying. And finally, last but not least, because this could just spill over, a little belt of any kind with a Fastex Easy Clip buckle. Again, super easy to find. Value Village or any kind of secondhand store, hardware store, or outdoor store, depending on how much you want to spend. Fastex Clip, okay? And now you've got your kitchen set. Similarly, your pots are going to look very similar. Okay, a nesting situation where each one fits into the next. Okay, a pot gripper found at any outdoor store for inexpensive. You know, is going to help you to make sure that you've got uh, a pot that and a pen that you have access to hold on to. If you don't have one with a big handle and stuff, this is a perfect solution. Hardware store gloves, leather cooking gloves, key to cooking a great meal by the fire. As you can see, these ones are well used, uh, and they protect your hands from the embers. And here's a little stove, okay, which collapses and makes itself useful uh, if the fire isn't, uh, isn't an option at that point, or you just want to make up a quick cup of hot chocolate without having to start a fire late. Okay, so two pots and a big pan is really all you need to gain for a family of four to comfortably enjoy any kind of meal. You can make all sorts of meals with what you see right here. Uh, and again, with your stove, you're going to want a fuel bottle. And again, keeping organization in mind, a stuff sack is key. This is our kitchen for a family of four. G giving your kids an option to pack all their stuff, say, in something like this, allows them to know where their stuff's home is, allows them to organize their stuff on their own, and allows them to take an ownership of the trip that they wouldn't otherwise have. It gives them a real role and a responsibility within the family. It allows them a chance to pump their chests out. Okay? So something like this, which is critter-proof, waterproof, is one option to storing their stuffed animals. Uh, as kids get older or trips change in nature, uh, the last trip that my family took, my daughter chose the princess pack. And that was, uh, that was her choice. And this is some of the stuff that she had selected to bring along. So a little book. You know, a coloring book, a little reading book, some cards, arts and craft supplies with sticky notes. We made bookmarks for our friends when we were on the last trip, and when we came home, we had a present from the forest in the, sh in the form of bookmarks for all of our buddies. So that's something that happened on a rainy afternoon. Uh, playing cards, pencils, pens, you know, markers, this kind of stuff, and a little zippy. Again, just keeping things organized instead of loose helps keep chaos at bay. Uh, my son, he loves his Marvel superheroes, so just a card game with that. And, uh, and again, these are travel type games, so as you can see, they come with their own little container so that not everything has to be uh, stuffed into a Ziploc bag, which is one option. Okay, So you've got all these little activities and games, a couple of letters, a letter game, another little travel game for mom and dad or the kids if they want to play some chess. Which brings us to the electronic age, which is where we sit today. So in a little pack like this, I've been known to bring along a movie player. Just enough batteries for one movie, so we can have a, a, a campfire movie theater. So on a rainy night, we might select a small, you know, three, four, five movies into a little container like this so we can vote on it at the site, or we might just load one movie into it. I might make it a mystery movie and choose myself, or I might give one of the kids the opportunity to do that. And this is something we will bring on trip, but not every single time. So it's a nice addition. 
Of course, all of our kids have all the other devices, little uh, game, handheld gaming devices and all this kind of stuff, which are great for the drive up. I mean, kids need their routine too. It's part of what they grow up with. So you don't want to just take it away. Uh, but what I do is these are perfect for the drive up. And then once we get to the campsite, they're perfect to stay in the car.